Hey guys, it's Anthony Groffer here with Tweaktown and we're here bringing you a brand new Tweakopedia post covering our brand new testbed. I reached out to AMD a couple of months ago and asked to set up a brand new testbed for all things Radeon and all things AMD CPU driven. And after a couple of months of talking and trying to get hardware secured, the day has come. So it's about a week before Christmas right now and I had a massive package in the mail uh, ready for us to test. So AMD were super kind and sent us four of their pretty much their fastest video cards that can be on offer right now. The brand new Sapphire Radeon R9 290X VaporX 8GB edition. So this card actually has 8GB of uh, VRAM compared to the 4GB that you find on the normal uh, Radeon R9 290X cards. Um, and Sapphire's super awesome 2.5 slot VaporX cooling. As you can see here it's a triple slot, uh, sorry, triple fan design, 2.5 slots. As you can see here, it's a bit thicker than a standard 2.5 slot uh, GPU. Uh, it's got a massive, massive amount of cooling that you can see here. Massive power plumb with two 8-pin power connectors. Uh, and a, an awesome, super awesome backplate for some uh, VaporX actual branding on the back from Sapphire. You can tell that all the VRMs and, and the memory are all cooled by individual heat sinks on the bottom. It's a, it's a beautiful card, but we've actually got four of these. So we've got one here, got one up on my shelf over there, and two in the system here. So that's the center of the system. Uh, Corsair have helped out as usual. Uh, we have one of their best power supplies, the AX1200i. We've got one of their best coolers, the Hydro Series H110 cooler. Uh, they've helped out with 16 gigabytes of Vengeance 2400 megahertz DDR3 RAM. So we've got two of those ready to go. Uh, SanDisk have helped us out with some SSDs. They've got two of the uh, Extreme 2 series SSDs, so 240 gig for our operating system drive and a 480 gig SSD for our game installations because games are getting bigger and bigger these days. Uh, the other heart of our system is the Crosshair 5 Formula Dash Z from Zeus. Uh, so this board is going to be doing all of our Crossfire and SLI goodness. Uh, so we've got the, the two Sapphire Radeon R9 290X VaporX 8GB edition cards that we're going to be doing two-way testing on. And we're trying to source a board that can do three-way. I don't think you can actually do four-way with these cards because they're two and a half slot. So for now, we're going to be doing two and three-way. And we're going to be doing it on this motherboard for the for the Asus side of the, uh, for the AMD side of things. And we've got an, uh, an AMD FX9590 uh, CPU that we're going to keep a stock and then try and push past 5 gigahertz, maybe 5.5 on the Corsair liquid cooling you can see behind you there. Um, we've got it all built onto a Lian Lee um, pit stop T60 uh, test bench case and we're going to be installing Windows 7 Professional, uh, Windows 7 Ultimate I should say, 64-bit. Uh, but we're really interested in seeing what these cards, um, what this card can do at 4K. So we're going to be testing this thing at 4K, trying to stress out the VRAM, obviously because there's 8 gig of VRAM, uh, VRAM included. So we're going to be testing 4K uh, with uh, stock, 4K with maximum anti-aliasing applied, so 8 times uh, where applicable or higher. And then uh, middle of January, uh, we have some uh, some additional 4K monitors coming. We're going to be doing some triple 4K benchmarks at 12K, which is going to be absolutely insane. Uh, we're looking at, I think it's 11,000 something by uh, 2160, which is just going to be mind blowing. But the 8 gig of VRAM is really going to help. But for now, we're going to be doing 4K with two of these cards and seeing what the scaling is going to be like between the one card and two cards. And then if we're going to be versing uh, two of these with the 8 gig of VRAM against two of the Radeon R9 290X with 4 gig to see how much the VRAM helps going between 4 gig and 8 gig. For now, this is just a tease. Uh, I've got most of the system built. Uh, as you can see, as you can see there, uh, I'll give you a quick a quick tour of what we're going to be doing here, uh, or at least what the motherboard looks like with the the cooler. So you can see here, and this is going to be a bit shaky. It's a GoPro that we're going to be using here. So we have the Sapphire R9 290X VaporX 8 gig cards. It's going to be using a fair bit of power there. And we have our 9590 AMD CPU being cooled by the Corsair Hydro Series H110 cooler. And the very, actually really quite good looking Asus Crosshair 5 Formula Dash Z motherboard. It's a really, really nice, uh, you can see a really nice uh, design motherboard. There's a, a, good, uh, a good space between our two GPUs here. 
you've at least got um, about five or six centimeters between the cars, which means they're gonna get a lot of air flowing through them. And then you can see under here, our AX1200 I power supply, which is gonna power those two cards without a problem. So you expect to see this system up and running in the next week, probably just before Christmas. We'll hope you have some benchmarks testing these two bad boys at 4K and 4K with maximum anti-aliasing so we can make them sweat. Thanks for checking it out. Check back soon.